this uh, this room of loot. The only thing left is what Sendai had on herself, so let's check those out. Uh, nope, not this, thank you. I, don't, I doubt that I will need this. Uh, welcome everyone, my name is Gabriel and we're, as you, can possibly, as you most possibly remember, playing Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Arm, um, the expansion pack for this game, also known as the Throne of Baal. And I'm Gabriel. Did I mention that? I think I did. <laughs> Kogan has also a level, before we actually get out of here, we just... Now let's see, we have a stun leather of thorns for 6. Each successful hit on the wear inflicts 1d4 damage on a fire to the attacker. This one gives plus 1 armor class. Ah, unfortunately, none... Uh, we have... we're using better armors. Much better ones. So this one... We will sell it, and we have also one paint slown stone, plus one bonus to armor class, usable by monks, fighters, and can say plus fifty to max hit points, and a regeneration, plus bonus one to AC. Who the can use that? What's the regeneration that this gives? Where regenerates one hit points every six seconds, and this one gives two hit points every minute, which means this one's better, but you can't use it. You idiot, Edwin, you don't know how to use this. Ah, this is 25 resistance. Monks, fighters, and kenseis. Kira can use it. 25 resistance, fire, cold, acid, poison, electricity. Oh, Jesus. Now well, this, this boost ups her in a little bit. 103. Uh, nope. Not, not, this one is too, too good. Uh, this one is also very good. This one is always good. This is called the Helm of Baldura. Not to mention that my potion cases are full. Alright. That's more or less all we can do here. Hogan. Ah, one point. Single weapon style. Alright. And one ability for you. Greater Whirlwind. No, let's go with Resist Magic. For you. Oh, and that's, that's basically all. <sighs> Time to get out of here and speak with a guy. Because when you leave this area, we are transported into the Enclave. And Elminster shows up. Greetings, old friend. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Really? Elminster? Uh, oh, so you do know who I am now. I must admit, you've changed more than a little since the last time we met, before you were straddling the world with your power, so to speak. Oh yeah, that happens. Uh, the last time you meet him is in the first game, when you enter, uh, at least when he says that he is himself, you know, and not uh, judging uh, Jahira's little, not, not taking into account Jahira's little quest, uh, the Harper quest, because he's a Harper himself. And yes, the world is in fear of me. Strangling the world already feels that way. Tell me what you want and be quick with this before I gut you where you stand. Why are you here now? You've been watching my progress, I suppose? No, this one. Straddling the world hardly feels like that, does it? Yes, people who we fight are tough. No need to be bashful. There's only a handful of folks who would be willing to take you on at this point. Not even I would dare. <laughs> and I've had considerable time to practice. Yes, he's very old. One thousand years or so. Have you any idea of the havoc the Baal spawn have caused up and down the coast? The havoc you've caused personally? No, I don't suppose you have. Really? Not that it's entirely your fault. Oh, well, I do intend to, uh, to eliminate everything in my way. We Harpers have been working tirelessly for weeks now to prevent the panic from reaching a boiling point. Not a <laughs> simple task. As I understand it, though, your quest is nearly at an end, correct? Yes, this was a long, long time coming. Uh, that would be your cue to meddle, I take it. I have to leave again soon, so I can't help you much. But I can help you a little, whether you like it or not. It's important that this all ends soon. 
But that doesn't mean I won't lift a finger over it. Tell us what you want to tell and be gone because you're out of your league, old man. In a sense. <clears throat> Balthazar is known to me. His monastery is sealed up tight with powerful magic. Where he gets it from, I don't know. But you're going to have to get inside. Obviously, or he'll ambush you eventually. I know it may not be pleasant to contemplate, but the rogue Simon Havrian holds the key to entering the monastery. He is once again with the Amketran smugglers. At the moment, as I understand it, Havrian has been in to a monastery several times up till now. He may be able to help you once again if you're willing to look for his aid. There may be another way in, but you'll have to find it on your own. Now, I must go. From this point on, attaining your destiny is completely your own affair. I wish you well. It's good that people wish me well. It shall be. At least I think. Yes, that would be this uh, little uh, person. And it's a good idea to go back to Amcatherine and to have a big detour away. Consider oh, yeah. it done. We were moved to the best part. I think the best thing to do now is to avoid this part, basically, as much as we can. Uh, and actually go here, because we have a ton of things to sell. And even more now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys are so easy to kill. Before we actually attack this whole place... Oh, I, uh, these are things I left. But I think uh, I, will do I want my to best. sell stuff now. This will take a while, so... Uh, what do you just, require? just allow me to, to do this myself. Okay, and after this mm, we have reached one million gold in this game. Who could have thought? I also sell, sold a little bit of a uh, little more things that were not exactly very helpful. Uh, antidotes and so on, so we should be able to gather all the things now. And yeah, that's more or less this. Yes. Now there are three ways to get into Yes. Uh, into the monastery. Nature, take the life she gave. Well, uh, since we have so much uh, money, I don't think there's point time we got. in doing this uh, the other way around, gathering more uh, of loot. Good These guys will change. These will be dead in a moment. Very well. uh, do you guy? Do you know anything about? Yeah. Zeke, the name her blah blah blah. I have questions. Do you know anything about the woman named Melisandra? No. What are those men and mercenaries? No. Can you tell me about the followers? No. Can you tell me about the Baltazar? Hmm. Yeah, do you know how to get into the monastery? Ordinarily, I would say no, my friend, but it comes to mind that I have heard this question asked numerous times before and recently. So I'm thinking that perhaps there is something. And help you. Uh, can help you after all. A pair of adventurers from Kalimshan came to Amketan more months ago. They seem a quiet pair and properly married, so I ask no questions of them. They have been asking about the fortress as well. Perhaps they could help you. Uh, I speak of Fah Fahit and Marjira. They live in the home here in the village. If you wish to seek them out, there are three ways to get into the monastery. We can go. Actually, I, I will just tell you what are our options. Uh, we can go to one of the houses up there and find a way through the cave of the dead. There is a way, but to do this we also have to do a quest uh, related to this cave. And we can also go to the smuggler's cave right up here and speak with Havrian, but it's obvious that he is a weasel and a scoundrel and a thief and a smuggler and basically someone I don't like. 
Uh, I never liked him. I like his personality, but I hate him as as, as a role player because there's no other way a, the, the main character can feel about him uh, because he betrayed us f several times. Uh, so there is, uh, and he can smuggle us into the monastery. Done. And there is a third way that we will most possibly try to do, but uh, I don't think we'll do it in this episode. This is just an interlude episode where I want to uh, sort of, you know, keep the continuation of the project. The third one is the assault. We can assault the main gates, and that's what I want to do, uh, and that's what I will try to do next time which uh, might have uh, two... there are two possibilities. Uh, first, we will do it. We will, do it. We will uh, go inside into the fortress and eliminate everyone out here and fight uh, the enemies, our enemies and... Uh, well, enemies in a sense, I will, we will fight people guarding the gate and they will spawn and respawn again and again, but we eliminated Abazigal and Sendai in their own enclaves, so it makes sense to kill Balthazar, the fifth and the last of the five, the same way. So that would be uh, next time, most possibly tomorrow. Whoa, the music is beautiful here, and we are really closing in, not to mention that there's one more thing we need to do. Yeah. Uh, there is this little uh, portal that we should do uh, in the pocket plane, so we should start with that. I have to remember next time we start recording to go first to the plane and then the final assault. Thank you for joining us here, as uh, always, it's a pleasure for me that you're watching my materials and I will stress that as many, as many times as I can. And next time feel free to comment, subscribe to uh, and to look forward to new projects, because there are new things coming to the channel. Uh, there's just no other way around this. We're, de we're finishing Baldur's Gate. Thank you for your time, and have a nice day. Evening. Night. Morning. I don't know.